Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today I've got a massive shopping haul. I haven't filmed a video for ages and hopefully this will make it up to you because it is the biggest shopping haul I think I've ever done. I just wanted quite a few bits of my holiday next week. I haven't been on holiday for about five years so I just wanted to treat myself to a few nice bits to take away with me. Bought a couple of beauty bits in the sale for myself. So I've done Look Fantastic and Spacing NK, I bought a few bits on there and then I've done an ASOS haul and I've been to H&M and Primark, I think, we'll see. Uh, to be honest, I've forgotten quite a lot of the things that I've ordered. So let's just crack on and I will share everything that we've got. I'm going to start with skincare and like beauty bits first because I only bought a few things. So I've been wanting to try this for ages, this is a Medic Aid Crystal retinol 3. I've heard quite a lot of nice things about this and I've always wanted to try it but it is more on the expensive side. I think I got it in the sale. There was some money off or a discount code or something and looked fantastic so I bought it to try. I think there's different stages, there's different numbers and the more that you're comfortable with using it and the more you use it then you can move up a stage whereas this is like the starter stage. I just want to try and like even my skin tone out a little bit because I do have like discoloration like I've got a lot of dark spots and I get like a little bit of redness as well so I just want to see if this kind of evens it out you're supposed to only start using it like twice a week I'm going to start it when I get back off holiday so I'll definitely let you know how I'll get on with it and then I did a little order on Space NK as well I think there's a sale on there to be honest this is the Paul's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. I bought the mini one just to see how I get on with it first because again, I don't really change my skincare that often. So I just wanted to be careful with it first. But it says that this soothes and evens out skin tone as well. So I'm looking forward to using these together. I did see a TikTok about using like a liquid exfoliant and then like a retinol cream. So that's really the only reason that kind of pushed me to get it and there was a sale on so I bought it. So yeah, I'm going to see how I get on with it if I like it, which everybody raves about it. I'll get the bigger one. So again, I'm going to start this when I get back off holiday. I'm just going to take my normal skincare with me for that. So this is the Colour Wow Dream Co. I'm so excited to use this because I've seen it on TikTok and it looks absolutely amazing. So my hair is naturally very curly and as soon as I step outside, it literally just like poofs off. It never stays like perfectly straight. And if it's raining or just spitting a little bit then it just explodes. So this is supposed to help against like the humidity. It's supposed to leave like that, like maybe give your hair like a more like a waterproof layer. You spray it on, it's heat activated so you spray it on like before you blow dry straight in your hair and I think it lasts like up to a few, oh yeah, lasts through three to four shampoos so you don't even have to use this like for every wash. I'm going to take this with me because I know it's probably going to rain when I'm in Scotland so I'm going to put it to the test and I'll use it as well before I go I'll wash my hair this week and use it and see what happens. But this I'm really excited about because if I can find something that works to stop this frizz then that'll be amazing. So they are the only things that I bought beauty wise. I'm going to start with fashion next. So I just got one clothing item from H&M. H&M is one shop I never think of going in and there's one in my local shopping centre. There's like three shops in there and I just thought I'd give it a go and I found quite a few bits in there but I didn't need like a hell of a lot of clothing. So I got these leggings, they were 12 99 they're just like pull on stretchy leggings but they're like flared at the bottom. I'm not going to be able to do a try on haul before we go on holiday but I am going to wear these while I'm on holiday. So if you're watching this video and you want to see what they look like on then go to my Instagram because there will be a picture on there somewhere. But they're like, they're like a dark chocolatey colour but they've almost got like a plum undertone to them. They're really pretty and I wanted something a bit different than like just wearing jeans all the time. So I'll be able to wear these with anything because they're high waisted and they're a nice length as well, they're not too short, they literally finish like so they don't drag on the floor but I could wear heels or flat shoes like trainers with them as well. So I'm really looking forward to styling them 
they did have them in black as well which I was going to get but they didn't have them in my size I got a medium and they you I'm usually like a size 12 so they are the leggings that I got so that's the only item that I got from H&M and then let's do Primark next and then leave ASOS to last so boring things out of the way doesn't even want to appear in this video I actually got two of these little decanter things I'm gonna try not to take too much with me but I always overpack so I thought I'd get two of them and then ones that I don't use I will use in my pro kit because they literally come in so handy next I got this belt it was only three pounds and it's just got a little like a circle bottle buckle 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 detail to it I haven't got a lot of belts and the ones that I have got are quite skinny I just wanted something nice and like not too thick but like a medium size to go with the dress that I've also got from Primark I didn't never used to wear belts and now I always wear them with my jeans because I just feel like they finish the outfit off a little bit better I got one of these tops because these literally come in so handy got a long sleeved one i always get just the plain t-shirts but because we are going to be coming into colder weather i got like the long sleeve ones and these are nice because they're thin you can put them like under extra jumpers as well i always get size small these were three pound fifty and it's the crew neck ones i just got this chocolate color honestly when we come into like autumn winter the only colors that i wear are like neutral colors and black. My reason actually for this shopping trip was I really wanted a new pair of jeans because I don't feel like people do wear skinny jeans anymore. I just wanted something a different shape and I've got a couple of pairs of mum jeans already and I really like the style of like the high-waisted but like wide leg straight jeans. I think they look so smart but I tried a few pairs on and they just didn't suit my shape at all. They just made me look really frumpy. So I went to try like a more flared shape instead which is why I chose those leggings from H&M but I also got a pair of flared um, leggings from Primark as well these were £13 and I got them in a size 12 again they're stretchy material but these ones have got a zip um, on the side they are quite high waisted as well they fit lovely and then they go into a flare at the end and then they've just got like a little slit and the flare again these are a nice length that i could wear with heels or with trainers so they are the leggings again i will share what they look like on my instagram they're like nice and tight fitted and then they flare out nice at the bottom like in the right place i was successful with one pair of jeans so these were 17 pounds and i got a size 12 they're really high waisted again and they flare out nice at the end they're just cut straight across so I think they'll wear really nice like once the ends started start to fray up a bit and then they're split at the end as well again they come a really nice length but I really like the shape and it's just something a bit different than wearing skinny jeans all the time uh, what else did I get the last thing the last thing I got was this shirt dress from Primark it is quite oversized and I got a size 8 usually I would be like a size 10 or probably a size 12 with more of like a tight fitting dress it's a really nice length as well it is quite a sheer material so I actually think that you'd be able to wear this in the summer I thought if I'm walking around on holiday next week and it is quite cool I can fit just like a plain tank underneath and even my biker shorts if it is a bit cold and my boots and I'll be fine in this okay next treated myself to some trainers and I never buy shoes ever I'm not like a handbag and shoes kind of person I'm not really like a clothes person I just wear what's comfy but I haven't really got any like comfy shoes to be walking around in next week so I got these from ASOS these were in the sale and then they'd got like an extra 20% off so these are the Adidas Originals as we go trainers and these are the beige ones and a size 6 honestly don't know if I love them or hate them I put a poll on my Instagram and everyone told me to buy them but I wanted a pair of like neutral trainers for so long I've only got <clears throat> I've got a pair of Air Force ones which are my best and they're all white and I just don't want to get them really mucky so I feel like just an off-white colour 
one will go with anything that I want to wear and two I won't feel guilty if I do get them a bit dirty. So these are the trainers. I've tried them on, they're so comfy as well. I think they'll be perfect for walking around in next week. Okay, next. This was in a sale, I think it was like £7 or something. It's from the brand Threadbare. Does it say how much it was? No, but I got it in a size 12. It's just like a plain black top. I like it because it's not too cropped. I think it will stop just where my high waisted like jeans or trousers go and then it's just got like a little slit at the front and I think it's just one of them tops that will go with everything it's quite a nice material as well again this is ribbed and yeah it's one of the things I just came across and then just ended up adding it to the basket I also got this blazer in case we go out somewhere a bit fancier at night this was also in the sale where's this from Femme looks. If I find it again, I'll link it below. And it's just like a sheer linen blazer. I'll probably end up wearing this quite a lot for work as well. But I thought instead of wearing my coat, if we go out somewhere at night, I can wear that as like a little jacket instead. And then I got this shacket jacket um, from New Look, but obviously on ASOS. I've got a size 10 in this because it looked quite oversized online. This is stone shacket. It's quite a thick material as well. The others that I've got are more like, like quite thin. They're not really like robust enough. Whereas this I can use as more of a coat. So I'll leave it linked below. But it's so pretty and it'll go with everything as well. And I haven't got any like lighter coloured coats. Like all my coats are black. And I think I got a few jewellery bits. Honestly can't remember what I ordered. I got this chain necklace. I do have one similar to this, but the links are quite chunky and it doesn't always go with every outfit, but I thought this will literally go with anything. I always prefer gold than silver as well. Got this really dainty, like a thin gold choker, and I thought I could wear them together, layered. I thought that would look really nice. This one will, I can wear like all day, every day. I just thought that was so pretty and so dainty. That is everything I bought for my collective shopping haul. I'm so excited to wear them and also to go on holiday. If you're watching this, I'm probably already on my way. So I'll share all the pictures of me wearing the clothes on my Instagram and I'll leave everything linked below so you can go check them out as well. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comments. Please give it a big thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next week in my next one. Bye.